Hey, I've got Barbara Spodek over here, one of the great javelin throwers in history. You had uh, you had a great season. You got that medal at the Euro Europeans, and I read that you said that's your most special medal. Is that true? Well, definitely the atmosphere and the celebration with all my friends and uh, with my kids, with my family, with my mom was something unbelievable and very, very, very strong moment. Very emotional. That was that was something you will never forget until the end of your life. So I'm I'm happy that I concentrated on the European Championship and it was worth it. And I kind of believe it could be a medal, but I mean just uh, just a little bit because it's definitely the age. You know, it's mm -hmm. already hard. Uh, no, and with two kids, I mean. Um, very few people can understand what is it. Yeah. What is it? Everything together, and uh, I'm happy that I'm, it was really rewarding. Uh, the European Championship, the medal, was was just a dream, actually. Yeah. How old are your children? Nine and four. So oh my gosh. they actually already need my attention sure. and need already. Um, I mean, they are starting to be a good sportsman, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm. It, it's making it making me pleasure to watch them and to follow them and to help them. Actually, it, may, it gives me more pleasure than my my uh, competing now, as I can say a yeah. little bit. I can feel it because um, for me, it's more struggle with uh, with uh, the body. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't listen as as it listened like. Mm -hmm few years ago so it's nice to see the young energy and they are they are very very I think very uh, good you know they could be very good yeah will they try the javelin um, maybe they, yeah definitely they, they like to because they saw it especially mm -hmm. they saw it in Munich and I heard that many children who were watching Munich they, they were they were caught by by the by the competition, mm -hmm. so they want to start to throw javelin, which is nice. But I'm, I'm actually a person who started to throw javelin at 21 years old. So wow, I, I was, I, I used to be a, I was used to be a head athlete. I mean, I was throwing javelin, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. once, Not once a month, once a month, in, when I was 16 or 17, I was throwing once a month, and only in, uh, in uh, summer or mm -hmm. you know. In summer, more often, but for example, in winter, we we have been not throwing to to wall or yeah. anything. So, yeah. I mean, I form I my opinion is that the children should start throwing javelin later because the bones and the joints should be developed already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not very healthy discipline in in athletics. So, uh, that's my opinion. I think the more it's better best to do a heptathlon, decathlon, and to be you know. Uh, strong in everything. That's my my case. You know, I'm. Uh, I think I'm multi even person more than just a thrower. Yeah, that's a really interesting insight into in sports. How have you kept your health for all these years, this long career, in such a tough? I think that's it, it. It's you know, it's connected with what I said before that I I went through all kinds of sports. I was doing basketball and. And all, I like football, soccer, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we were playing games a lot. And we were not professionals uh, in when I, in my young age. Mm -hmm. I mean, 14, 15, uh, I was in the middle school. But we were doing athletics, but more more for fun. We were yeah. not throwing the balls or right. throwing the jab yeah. already. So I was very multi. Even I, I did hurdles and more jumping, and then. Uh, when I grew up, I was stronger, you know, and my, my joints were yeah. developed. I started to throw javelin, yeah. so. So you were ready That's for why I can, well. I can uh, last so long. That, yeah. That's, I think, that's the key, you know. And of, of course, the genetics. Thanks my mom and <laughs> thanks my dad. <laughs> because I think that's uh, a, a lot of per percent, of course, the yeah, genetics. for sure. How much longer are you gonna throw? Um, I think this was uh, at this level, this professional level. This was really my last competition. I guess. Really? Mm, I guess because I see that the body doesn't listen anymore like it mm -hmm. used to used to do, and it's as I said, it's more struggle, and you know, then it's not fun anymore. Right. It's fun, and I mean to end with a medal in 41 years old. Yeah, that's amazing. that's ins insane or a dream. So. Uh, uh. Um, I'm 
very very grateful for that you know I'm thankful you know so it, it happened so beautiful season even though this uh, competition was not the best end because I felt some problem in my food during the warm-up and then I couldn't do what I needed but yeah. whatever you know well congratulations on a great career it was an honor to be at your last professional meet yeah thank you it's great thank to you. meet you thank you so much thank you it was nice to talking to you, you too